Now imagine this, finding one, not one, six pythons in your own yard. That's a pretty frightening, uh, frightening aspect. Now, that's been the struggle that a lot of neighbors in Wells County have gone through over the last couple of weeks. And News Channel 15's Gina Glaros has the story now from Studio 15. Well, during a 10-day span, the two households thought twice about even heading out the door. And that's why Tom Dick and Dean Cassidy made it their mission to hunt pythons. We usually don't see pythons around here. The first came late last month. Dean Cassidy was called to this spot across the street after his neighbor of 42 years, Tom Dick, found the python by his drain while mowing. Dick shot it, poured gasoline down the drain, and lit it on fire. They just kind of multiplied after that. The second was found by a wood pile. Oh, he shot it, too. Yeah, we're pretty dangerous. For the next several days, the two men, a retired mail carrier and former teacher, made it their new job to hunt pythons. Every time we came out, we looked for snakes. Cassidy found snake number three when he went to go mow the lawn near the bridge. The only weapon I had with me was a big screwdriver that I have on the lawnmower. Put him on my lawnmower and drove up there. Then, while Dick found the fourth in his hayfield, Cassidy found another in his yard. I can't remember where the last one came from. They called DNR and a sheriff reserve came out. Somehow or the other, the game warden got wind of things, and they finally came out and picked up the snakes. They're still not sure where the snakes came from. We just came to the conclusion that somebody had dumped out some snakes here. And other than that, we didn't know what to do. Looking back, the men weren't exactly sure what to do. They believed they weren't going to survive anyway in the environment. Our ladies were terrified. They didn't want to come out of the house, so, that, you know, we had to get rid of them. It's been about a week. And we haven't seen any now for quite a while, so I, I think we've got them all. They hope. I checked in with Animal Care and Control about what you should do in this situation. Hopefully you're not in this situation. An officer tells me that if you think the snake is not from Indiana and you think it's an immediate threat to you, you should call them. In general, though, he tells me just to leave it alone. Gina Galeros, News Channel 15.